It's not enough to just put great components in a well-built laptop these days. You need something special to stand out. Asus's newest attempt is called the ScreenPad, a touchscreen built right into the touchpad that can be used as a second screen. Curious? So were we. The company sent us a high-end configuration of the ZenBook Pro 15 to review, equipped with an 8th Gen Core i9-8950HK CPU, a GeForce GTX 1050T, a 4K IMS display, and the aforementioned screen pad. That configuration came in at $2,300, though you can also spend $1,800 if you're willing to settle for a Core i7-8750HQ and give up the screen pad. The ZenBook Pro 15 is powerfully configured and premium priced. Does the screen pad offer enough innovation to put Asus's latest powerhouse over the top against some stiff competition? Large and in charge. Large or small, thick or thin, if you've seen one's end book, you've seen them all. There's almost always the same iconic Asus concentric circle swirl on the lid and rose gold diamond cut chamfered edges. And of course, you're guaranteed to find at least one model sporting the company's most recognizable deep dye blue color that's at once attractive and almost regal. Yes, we're talking about the ZenBook Pro 15 here, and it's just as lovely as always. Add to the elegant aesthetic and almost solid as a rock build quality, with a lid and chassis bottom that stubbornly resist bending and twisting. The keyboard deck does have some flex to it, which frankly is unusual for ZenBooks. The hinge swings open easily with one hand yet stays in place, further testifying to the company's attention to quality. Even with a slightly flexible keyboard deck, the ZenBook Pro 15 does well against the best-made notebooks like the Dell XPS 15, Razer Blade 15, and Apple MacBook Pro. And that's true whether you're talking about its build or its good looks. It also falls in line with those competitors in its weight and measurements. It's 0.75 inches thick, which isn't quite as thin as the XPS 15 0.66 inches, the Razer Blade 0.66 inches, or the MacBook Pro's 0.61 inches. In spite of how solid it feels, its 4.1 pounds is slightly lighter than both the Razer Blade and XPS 15, both of which come in at 4.5 pounds. In short, the ZenBook Pro 15 is a very attractive and well-made notebook, and it's great to look at and hold in your hands. Asus also spent some time making sure that the ZenBook 15 Pro is a well-connected machine. It includes two USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 ports with 40 GBS Thunderbolt 3 support, two USB-A 3.1 Gen 2 ports, which is better than the Gen 1 ports on most notebooks, and a full-sized HDMI port, 1.4 only, unfortunately. The XPS 15 only has one Thunderbolt 3 port while the MacBook Pro has no legacy ports whatsoever. All of connectivity is mated with a 3.5mm audio jack and micro SD card reader, providing for both legacy and futuristic support. Wireless connectivity is provided by the usual 802.11 AC Wave 2 Wi-Fi supporting up to 1.13 GBS and the latest Bluetooth 5.0.